Kyle Keel. It's uh, time to get the wheels turning in our minds, use our imagination as we are welcoming the Family Museum to Quad Cities Live here on this Tuesday. Yeah, Ellie Gertz is here to tell us all about the Imagination Studio. Uh, Ellie, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. You have set up a beautiful, uh, gorgeous, colorful yes. display of different craft items um, on the table today. These are all items that uh, kids and families can find in the Imagination Studio. It is. So um, about four years ago, we did a whole remodel of our second floor. We used to have a clay studio and an art studio, and we had a think shop downstairs. Well, when we built our Lucky Climber, we decided, why don't we combine all three of those into one mm -hmm. great room, and we call it the Imagination Studio. So yeah, you can do arts and crafts, you can do clay, you can build something with our tools and the Bam. wood that we provide and it's just this really great maker space. Knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Knew that was gonna it's, happen. It's a great space for kids to just be creative. Yeah. It's great for all ages. Um, we have we even have little high chairs Aww. that kids can Cute. sit in because some people think well maybe my kids too young to yeah. do you bring the kids there I do yeah my three-year-old and my almost two-year-old they absolutely love the imagination studio you walk in and you just get overwhelmed I, I guess from a little kid's point of view overwhelmed with all of the different uh, different items that you can create a craft so when you come in it's not necessarily like hey Today, in the Imagination Studio, we're going to make a heart for Valentine's Day. Yeah. These kids can use their imagination and create anything they want with all these materials. Yeah, we really want it to be open-ended, where kids can just come in and be their own creative selves. Um, sometimes, if they are a little apprehensive about what to make, um, our talented staff can kind of guide them in the right direction. Yeah. Um, but really, we want them to just kind of explore and, 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 and do whatever they want. Yeah, use those imaginations. Yeah. Uh, and you actually have a little craft that, that you're going to show yeah. us today. So if, if somebody came in and said, I just need a little little guidance. I don't really yeah. know where I'm going. This would be something they could do. Yeah. I, I, I was kind of trying to think about, you know, it's being, it's Valentine's Day mm -hmm. and maybe you'd want to give some flowers to someone you yeah. love. And these pipe cleaner flowers are so easy and yet so cute. Yeah, they're so adorable. let me kind of show you how I made them. You're, what you're going to need are two pipe cleaners, the color of the petals. Okay. You're going to need half of a pipe cleaner for the inside of the flower and then one for the stem. Okay. Now notice we do several colors. It doesn't have to be these daisy colors that I mm -hmm. picked out. You know, have, have fun with this. Okay. So what you're going to do is take one of the petals and you're going to make one petal. And you're going to want to make sure I, there's I would, a little tail. I would be feeling at this. <laughs> and then you're going to twist. Okay. And then you're going to do it again. Uh oh. And you're going to twist. <laughs> Ellie. It's okay. <laughs> and then you're going to do it again and twist. And what you're going to have is a three petal little clover type thing. Okay. <laughs> and the great thing about pipe cleaners is you can mess it up and okay. you can like okay. reform put it, it right and again. just put it and you could start all over or you're whatever. Right. It, it's, it's, it's very forgiving material. So then what we're going <laughs> to do is do it again. Oh. on a different pipe cleaner. Okay. And Here, also, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do this one. All right, also, so we'll what's fun with kids is that this is working on their fine motor skills. And what's helpful there right. is when you do it over and over again, yeah, I think I they get better big. and better. Oh, I see. Okay, cute. How's, How's it coming along? I mean, it's uh, like, yeah. I'm, like I no, said, feeling. Good. A little wonky. <laughs> But that's okay. That's Let's okay. See. All flowers are all beautiful. All flowers are beautiful. Yes, exactly. They're all different. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. So then we're going to take our two <laughs> clovers. Yeah, my petal's a little, uh, <laughs> little, little off there. One of you the petals just isn't, isn't quite ripe. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm going to twist the tails together at the oh, bottom. Okay. With your oh, you're supposed his. to take mine. Oh, I am? Oh. Sorry that I failed. <laughs> Put them face to face. <laughs> All flowers are precious. Are they are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Okay. <laughs> let's power so then through. we just open it up, and now we're going to move to our yellow. Okay. <laughs> we're going to make so a spiral out of this. <laughs> Take that. And we're just going to make a spiral. You start with a circle. Okay, this I can do. And then just keep building on that circle. Okay. And this is a great way for kids to learn about their shapes. Okay. Kids know circles and now they know spiral. So while we're building this, yeah. we talked about the Lucky Climber yeah. uh, yes. before we started the show today. This is a way that you can get up to the second floor. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. It's so cool. It oh is. Gosh. A little kid's dream. Yes. <laughs> 
And it is adult friendly. If you are an adult and you would like to try the Lucky Climber, you may try it. I Good did, to know. I did yeah. want to ask you about that because when I have been there with Darbs, I've been like, you know, she's a little apprehensive, kind of one of those kiddos. And yeah. She wants mom to go try it with yeah. her the first yeah. time. So that's good to know. Yes. You can, you can join them. Yes. Okay. And, and you can tell your kid, you know, it's completely enclosed. There's no way they're going to fall out. And there's no fall greater than 18 inches. Oh, we love that. Okay. okay. So, yes, you're going to take your stem, stem. and wrap it around. <laughs> <laughs> or lack of a stem. <laughs> okay. Yours is beautiful. I've done this a few times. I have done it a few Practice times. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> oh, my Go God. Go home and teach us a Darby and you'll really learn. Yeah. This is, you know what, though? Um, you know what, this is <laughs> something that we can at least try at home. Yes. yes. We can yes. practice. <laughs> and what I like to do is make a little pencil topper for it. Oh, yours is beautiful. Thank you. We love you, Ellie. I love it. <laughs> okay, so uh, for more on any exhibits, though, happening at the Family Museum, they have different classes there, museum activities, uh, you're going to want to visit familymuseum.org. And uh, again, the Imagination Studio is what we were talking about today. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. located, and with your price of admission, you can go yes. up there and yes, you can check it, it out. Yes, it is included, Make your own <laughs> yes. pencil flowers, yes. Ellie. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. It turned out better than mine would have if I did it myself. <laughs>